Hi guys, thank you so much for coming to this channel. Welcome to Girls for STEM. Again, this is uh, a channel where we encourage girls to pursue science and technology. We encourage, uh, uh, we also showcase other models that are pursuing STEM. And we're also trying to make sure the girls can be acclimatized to the endeavors, the technology. So guys, remember we went to Africa and we had experiments with the kids. So we're going to recap on the kids and just find out you know, how their experience was, um, also just how much fun they had. Remember, we're here to encourage girls to pursue science and technology and to ignite their mind. So let's see, and uh, today we are talking to Deborah. So let's bring Deborah up. Hi, Deborah, how are you? Fine, and how are you? Oh my God, thank you so much seeing you. Uh, today and I really appreciate you coming to this um, channel. Yeah, Deborah is uh, a little bit there. The internet is uh, slow. So let's wait for her. Yeah, uh, guys, so we were in Africa. We were doing experiments with kids in Africa and it was amazing. They were so excited. Guys, we should have seen their eyes, their passion, their interest. It was very interesting. So today we are talking to those kids that did experiments just to see and recap how they enjoyed, you know, to see what they think about the, 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 the experiment and just to, you know, to rehearse with them. So again, I'll bring Deborah up. This is Deborah. So Deborah, can you, can you introduce yourself? What grade are you doing? What's your name? And also, how old are you? Okay. Hi, my name is Deborah. I'm in grade four. I'm going in grade five. And... Wow, wow. I'm 10 years old. And they're 10 years old. Thank you so much, Deborah, for that introduction. I really do appreciate it. And it's nice to see you. You're looking very good today. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So, Deborah, why do you love science and math? I love, yes, I love it. You love math and science? Yes. Okay. So, would you love to be a scientist or an engineer? A scientist. And why would you love to be a scientist? Because I can be making experiments. And... So I'm going to show you the experiment that you did, okay? I can't get, I can't get you. Okay, so um, I'm going to show you the experiment that you did. Okay. My name is Deborah Kawan. I'm in grade four and I'm 10 years old. My experiment is volcanic eruption. <laughs> So again, guys, we are talking to Deborah and um, yes, we were talking to Deborah and she was uh, doing experiment. We're just trying to talk to her so that she can tell us how the experiment was. So Deborah, what did you like about the experiment that you did? What did you like most? How I started. How you started the experiment. Okay. And do you want me to show you one more time? Yes. Okay, let me show you. In all the three bottles, 
just about uh, about one fish we can make it um, maybe about two meals eh? mm -hmm. of all so you love to press here and just suck them here so just spin you can move this and maybe just go to the top so she's going to have everything Let's help the boy out. And then up here and then up with me. You could have gone anywhere, been anywhere. So you did you see that Deborah? That was you doing the experiments. Do you remember? Yes. So what was fun about the experiment? Would you love to be a scientist to be doing such experiments? Uh. Wow. So what did you like about doing those experiments? What was so interesting? Did you like the experiments? Yes. Okay. No, thank you so much, Deborah. Thank you so much for... Uh, uh, coming here and also just to answer the questions and also um, to spend some time with you. So what experiment would you want to do? Would you want to do another experiment with us? Yes. Okay. All right. No, thank you so much, Deborah. Okay. So Malaika, you are here. So Malaika, introduce yourself. What's your name and what grade are you doing? I am grade one. And what's your name? Your name the and name? the great. I introduce myself. Yes, yes. Hi, my name is Malaika Janwalia. Mm -hmm. I am in grade one. The name of my school is Trinity. The next wow. month I'm moving in grade two. Wow, thank you so much, Malaika. Malaika, so I have a few questions with you. Why do you love science and math? Huh? Why do you love science and math? Or do you love science and math? Yes, it helps you to discover new things. Wow, that is really, really nice. Okay, Malaika. Uh, why, why do you think, um, how can you become an engineer or a scientist? Do you know? Yes. How do you become a scientist or an engineer? By training. Uh -huh. Training to fly the jet. Yes. The teacher to make a car. Wow, that's excellent. Excellent, Malaika. Okay, do you think you're going to be an engineer or do you think you're going to be a scientist? What do you think? Um, I'm going to be an engineer. Wow, that's so Make cool. It big. Huh? What? Making jets. Making jets. Wow, that's really, really good. So, Malik, I want to ask you something. You did an experiment last time with Girls for STEM. So, I'm going to show you the experiment that you did. Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> I can't wait. You can't wait. Okay, let me show you. It was so gorgeous. Let's see. The next month, I'm going to go to. The experiment. Okay. My name is Malaika Genuaria. I am in grade one. I am I am six years old. The next month I am going in grade two. The experiment that I'm doing is magic magic sand. In front of you, you have a uh, magic sand. Are you able to show your friends and your viewers the magic sand? I have magic sand, mm -hmm. a measure spoon, a measuring spoon, mm -hmm. okay. a plate, a glass, mm -hmm. and some water, a bit of water, and, and some tissue. A tissue. 
As you can see, guys, Malaika is so excited to see how she performed during the experiment. And I mean, she was a brilliant, excellent while it's, uh, you know, doing the experiment. And it's amazing to see how kids just get so lit up you know, when they are doing experiments. And that's why, you know, every kid should be given an, an opportunity to do experiments. Some of us, we never did experiments when we were young. Until we get to university, we never saw a test tube. We never saw these chemicals. So sometimes, guys, it's really good to expose kids to be doing experiments. And we have a privilege today to be talking to Malaika herself after doing some experiments. But now, uh, you know, she's seeing herself doing experiments so i was just showing her <laughs> laika did you see the experiment you did yes how was it it was nice it was nice what part did you like on the experiment me the person who i like no the part in the experiment what part did you like during the experiment the the place or no, the parts the parts what what did you like about the experiment that you did when the sand got magic <laughs> when the sand got magic that's really nice wow i really enjoyed doing an experiment with you laika So, Malaika, do you remember doing that experiment? Yes. <laughs> what did you fun. like? It was fun. What did you like about the experiment? The magic sand. Oh, that's so nice. You seem to be very excited about the experiment. And thank you so much for doing that experiment. You were amazing. And hopefully we're going to do so many more experiments in future. And you are very brilliant. Thank you so much for coming. And we are going to do many more experience, uh, experiments that you're going to do from there. And you're going to show people how, how you do the experiments. So thank you so much. So Malaika, uh, what experiment would you want to perform? Would you want to perform more experiments with girls for STEM? Yes. Wow. So let me know what type of experiment. Are they scientific experiments or engineering experiments? What type of experiment would you want to have to experiment here on girls for STEM? Mm, engineers. Engineering experiment, okay. So we're going to bring more engineering experiment. Guys, I think you've seen Malaika has got a lot of videos here on Girls for STEM. She's been very excellent, brilliant. <laughs> she's doing her faces on there. So she's been very excellent um, doing uh, videos here and also participating in a lot of uh, videos concerning uh, being an engineer. So we are watching her space uh what she she's up to she's just in grade two and she's been doing excellent so thank you so much malaika so do you have any questions for us malaika how do they make a phone wow that's interesting that's an interesting question so the way they make phones it's very complicated for me to um to respond but there are electronic and also frequencies that they use to make a phone so that you can speak to one to one you can speak to someone um so you have to learn telecommunication you have to know science and math so you can understand how they make a phone because you are curious of how they make a phone so now you will be interested to learn more more and go to school so you can now further understand because at your age it will be a little bit difficult, but it's good so that you can be interested to keep wanting to learn how they make a phone. I can explain it, but uh, in simple terms, it's they use electronics. They use um, uh, electronics and frequencies to create a phone so that you can talk to one person or you can talk from one person in a certain place to another person. So this is good for you to be interested so you can learn. You have to start uh, trying to understand uh, little by little 
Okay, so don't give up. One day you will understand how a phone works. But I can just explain in simple terms, they use electronics and also the frequencies, you know, and also they use wiring and programming. So that's how I can explain it. But that's a very good question. And thank you so much for asking. And keep wanting to learn and wanting to know also more about how they make a phone, okay? Yes. Okay. So do you have any other question for me? And can you hear me nicely? Yes, exactly. Okay. So, okay. so Only one. Okay, go ahead. Do you know they make a TV? How, and they to, get, uh, how they how how they do what? How they make a TV and a kettle? Yes. Yes. So what I'm going to tell you, especially for the, let's start with the kettle. The kettle, you have to learn electrical engineering. See, being an engineer makes you understand a lot of things. So they use electricity. So they put some wiring in the electric kettle so that when you put it on the, uh, on the wall, you plug it in the wall, you are getting electricity through the wall to the kettle. And that's how the kettle starts what? it starts warming up. So there, there is transfer of electrons. So I don't want to explain that, too, but you're going to learn about electrical engineering. That's when you know how they make a kettle. And how they make a TV, same thing. They also use electronics and also frequencies. You're going to learn about that. That's really good. You're very curious. I really love your curiosity. And you're going to learn more as you want to become an engineer. I really do appreciate uh, you coming to this channel and also for your curiosity and to show other kids how curious you are. So I'm going to investigate more about your questions so we can come and answer them in a kid's form, not in a... Um, in a in a you know complicated way so thank you so much laika for those questions and we really do appreciate so we clap for you for doing a good job yes, <laughs> yes. the people should continue watching my channel they will learn how to be engineers so welcome to get for girls for stay Oh my God, brilliant. What a sell. Thank you so much for talking to my viewers like that. I really do appreciate it. Guys, you head for yourself, for yourself. Continue watching Malaika's chan uh, channel here on Girls of STEM, and she'll be making more videos, right, Malaika, about experiments, right? Yes. Wow. Thank you so much, Malaika. Okay, so we've come to the end of the show, Malaika, and we'll talk to you soon, and bye-bye. Bye. Bye.